Hello and welcome on board to another day in paradise. It is grinding fiberglass, more or less like we did in the previous video. But we are very close to be finished now, so we can see the end of the tunnel now. And now we speak about the tunnel. Rega have already grind the tunnel inside and also washed the area so it's completely free of dust. So uh, we are very close to be ready for applying um, anti-corrosive epoxy. Yeah, it is anti-corrosive epoxy we use, but it is a fiberglass bowl, so we don't need the anti-corrosive in the paint, but we do it anyway. And, and then after that, we are ready for anti-fouling, but that is yeah, a couple of weeks from now, I think. I also have grinded around the stern tube outside and applied some uh, some fairing uh, and I think end of the day hopefully we can grind it and if I'm very lucky then tonight I can apply first coat of epoxy uh, on the bolt roster tunnel and on the um, stern tube out there. Our next job is to remove the old panel to the old engine. We have tried to remove it gently but it is nearly impossible unfortunately because the former owner have applied a lot of silicone out there and it is uh, just a mess with silicone. So um, the plan is just to cut it out with the multi-cutter and then simply repair the hole after that and then install the new panel. It's a long way for uh, just a mounted little panel but we can't see any other solution so uh, let's go up out and cut a new hole in the boat. The old panel is removed and it was very easy with the multi -corner. It just took a few minutes, so uh, that was a good, good solution. I have cut uh, this one piece of plywood and then I will take a piece of plastic, put in front of that, like that. And again, I'll take a piece of peel ply like this. I will mount this uh, plate from the outside and then laying up fiberglass from the inside. Then when I remove this uh, plywood tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I have a more or less smooth surface that I can mount the new panel in. So um, let's get started. The plastic is on and then I just need the peel ply more and less on the same way. I have just placed my uh, plywood in here with the peel ply on and then I found some old plastic bottles that can keep the, the plywood in place just like that. It's okay. It's not perfect but uh, that's what I got. I'm ready for laying up fiberglass from the inside and I will just remove the camera so you can see it as well. And seen from the inside, we have the plywood with the peel ply on and I have grinded the edge around. So right now I'm ready for laying up fiberglass in here and yeah, as I said, tomorrow or the day after, I can remove the, the plywood with the peel ply and then I have a new surface and close the hole. It's a very easy and convenient way to close a hole. Thank you. 
I will prepare laying up fiberglass out there, but unfortunately it's not possible to bring the camera. So I will go down, make the work, and then I will show the result. I hope that's okay. I'm just with laying up fiberglass and I think it's pretty good. It's, it's not easy to see before I remove the peel ply, but I have a good feeling. So uh, I think we should go out and have a look. And before we go, as you can see in the skylight, it is dark outside. So uh, I bring a flashlight and hopefully you guys can see a little bit out there. Or if you can't see anything, then we can see it when I remove the <laughs> plywood and peel ply. So, uh, but let's give it a try. And this is the result. It is not, ah, it's still tacky. I can't remove the plywood, uh, but I think tomorrow it's possible and then we can better see the final result. The rest of the evening I will use on the grinding inside uh, on the bow thrust area, stern tube and also the aft bearing. The plan was to grind outside as well, but it's not sure enough. Uh, I don't think it will be a, a good idea to do it now. It's better to wait. And to be honest, it's dark outside. It's freezing cold. So um, I do it inside. It's more toasty and nice to be in here. And I, I have warm coffee, etc. So uh, I will grind. I think I will do the most of the grinding uh, without camera and just show you guys uh, the final result. So um, I will uh, find my paper and get started. I finished the grinding yesterday evening and it was quite late before I was done with that. But um, the aft, around the aft bearing is finished, the stern tube is finished and all the fiberglass on bow thrust is finished. The only thing we need now is to remove the dust. The best way to remove the dust is by hot water and a little small amount of degreaser. The reason why we use that is because we also need to remove the amyl blushing that unfortunately will appear on the surface on West Epoxy. So yeah, we have no chance to avoid that unless we use peel ply, but yeah, I didn't use it down there. So um, we will use the degreaser and then we will suck the water up with our vacuum cleaner. It's quite easy. I'm also finished with the grinding outside around the stern tube. So after cleaning out there, we are also ready for applying epoxy there. So basically we have the inside fiberglass and we have also the outside fiberglass where we have the spots around um, that we can apply. So we will do that today, that's for sure. But first we will have a look on the uh, hole we closed yesterday. I'm very excited to see the final result. Let's go up and have a look. And let's remove the plywood. That is how it looks now. The only thing I need to do here is apply some filler or fairing or something like that to fill up the, the little gap between the existing epoxy and the new one. But the new panel will more or less cover uh, the fiberglass here, so I'm not sure I will do so much. Let's see what I decide to do in here. It's the hole, the hole is closed and that was uh, actually only the goal. All the fiberglass inside and also outside is washed. And the only thing we need now is that it will dry up. Uh, we have put some electrical heaters inside, so a little bit around, and hopefully it will start dry up very fast. I think one, maybe two hours, it will be okay. Outside, yeah, there's a little bit of wind and I think it will dry very fast out there. So that's not the big, uh, big problem. But in the meantime, I will, um, I have the panel for the engine here and I will make a new template with a panel, there is a template in paper and paper template is not easy to fit in there in the little uh, hole that we closed yesterday. So I will make a new template and I will make it in plywood that it, it was just a piece I found somewhere in there. So uh, that is my job right now and I think that Regency will uh, start cleaning the engine. The engine is very dirty. Uh, yeah, due to all the dust we have made uh, in the grinding period. So um, she will grind, ah, she will not grind. She will clean the engine after the grinding and I will make the template. And then we can take the template and go outside.
a template in the plywood is finished and uh, try to compare with the one with in paper it's it's useless template in plywood that works and we can just try it on here and it fits perfect it is much easier with a template in plywood and try to look at this perfect I think we should go out and uh, cut the hole uh, to the new panel and with the new template it is very easy so uh, let's go up and cut a new hole The only thing I need is this edge in here. So uh, I will, of course, remove the panel again. And then I will fill up with some fairing, this gap over here, and then paint, all, paint it all over inside. So it looks nice, of course. So um, I will just remove it again. But now I'm ready for yeah, filling up and paint, etc. Now we have cut the hole for the panel, we have cleaned the engine and yeah, we have the area that is already pre prepared for epoxy. I think we uh, need to start now because it's, as you probably can see in the skylight, very close to be dark. So uh, I will slowly start up. Uh, the epoxy I use, uh, yeah, both inside and outside, is Sigma Cover 280. And for that I use the LT hardener. And LT stands for low temperature hardener, so basically I can go down to minus 10 degrees Celsius if needed. We have 5 plus degrees now, so it's not a problem at all, but it still speeds up the curing, so uh, I use the LT hardener. That's a good idea when we are below 10 degrees Celsius. I use my mask and uh, Rege, my lovely wife, will take the camera and uh, yeah, let's go down and start it up. And I will drop the microphone up here. And then all the epoxy is applied on the outside area where we have the bolt thruster and stone tube, etc. And also on the inside. It smells very bad in here and it's definitely not healthy to stay here anymore. Uh, not today at least. Uh, we will try to create some ventilation and uh, then we will get uh, out of here. So uh, <laughs> I hope I will see you next time and please take care. See you.